What's happening, everybody? Hello and welcome back to Total Blast, where we discuss about everything Marvel and the MCU. So Marvel's checking things up after saying goodbye to Jonathan Majors as Kang, and it seems that they are staring forward towards mutants and X-Men in the movie. And that's not the only thing being shaken up over at Marvel Studios because the Fantastic Four that we've all been waiting for has hit a major roadblock. Yes, delays, while it doesn't sound exciting, it does look like Jonathan Majors' exit from the MCU as Kang just made room for one more villain, and that is the Beyonder. We are going to be breaking down all of these, but before we dive into the exciting development for both comic readers and MCU fans and the upcoming era of mutants, don't forget that we're still giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel. More on how to win at the end of this video. And if this is your first time, please subscribe and enable the bell notification so you don't miss out on subsequent videos. So here's the scoop. Marvel Studios Fantastic Four has hit a bit of a delay. And the team announcement that we're all hoping for won't be happening anytime soon, according to insider Daniel Richman. The initial January 15th filming date is now off the table. This might be a bummer for those eagerly awaiting updates. But the good news is that despite some mix-up, the movie's production is still on track for a 2025 release. The director, Mark Sheckman, said that it won't start in spring of 2024, but there was a bit of confusion about the report, saying that it will start in January. However, Reliable insider Daniel RPK says that the cameras will roll in May. Now, fans are worried that the movie might be delayed and it may miss its May 2nd, 2025 release date. Right now, theme seems okay. The project has been in the works for a long time. And Sheckman, along with writer Jeff Kaplan and Ian Springer, has been on board for over a year. And there's a chance that some behind-the-scene works, like special effects, is already happening. This could make things faster with post-production going on while they're still filming. And now... The delay could be linked to challenges Marvel faced in locking down these cast. Some reports suggest issues with actors' demand and negotiations causing a bit of casting conundrum. The studio was set to start filming soon, but without a confirmed team, the plan had to be put on hold. Moreover, taking the time to get the casting right is crucial, and people are talking about Pedro Pascal, Vanessa Kirby, Joseph Quinn, and Ebo Mosh Beshrak, but we don't know that for sure. Also, with Marvel's track record for delays and rewrites, ensuring they assemble the perfect Fantastic Four is more important than crushing the film out. Given the current market saturation and studios' recent decisions to release three movies in a year instead of four, there's flexibility to adjust timeline. This delay also aligned with Marvel's broader strategy for the multiverse saga. With Jonathan Majors no longer playing Kang, there could be a significant script adjustment and rewrite across various projects. Taking the time with Fantastic Four allows Marvel to seemingly integrate into the evolving multiverse narrative. So while the delay feels like a setback, it could also be a strategy move to ensure the Fantastic Four because I'm an integral part of the ever-expanding Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, onto a different Marvel development. There's a new rumor swirling around about Marvel game plan after giving Jonathan Majors the boot from his role as Kang the Conqueror in the Multiverse Saga. Apparently, Marvel's got two options. Either find a new actor for the role or tweak the whole storyline and head in a different direction. Jonathan Majors made his latest MCU appearance in Loki Season 2 as he who remains and the variant Victor Timely. And here's the big question. Could Marvel be recasting Kang or bringing in another villain from their comic arsenal? Well, according to Hollywood reporter Aaron Croach and Bryce Kidd, it looks like they're leaning towards a second option. They've brought in Michael Waldron, the brain behind Loki, to cook up a fresh take on what was originally called Kang Dynasty, now dubbed Avengers 5. And according to a new rumor from Alex Perez of the Cosmic Circus, Marvel's got another option up its sleeves. They're thinking about focusing on individual acts like Devil Rain, the rise of the Midnight Suns, and the arrival of the Mutants. And get this, they're slowly building up to a threat beyond the multiverse that we won't see until everything in 616 universe is in chaos. As for Mutants, well, no surprise there, especially with Deadpool 3 and Hugh Jackman reprising his Wolverine role. And Marvel's been dropping mutant hate like Professor X cameo in Doctor Strange and Miss Marvel being labelled as a mutant in the MCU. And it's interesting because mutants and X-Men bring a whole new flavor to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And after Kang's exit, Marvel might be turning the page and saying, all right, let's explode something different and keep the excitement alive. And of course, there's the fan factor. You can't ignore the fans. They've been itching for mutants in the MCU. Marvel's listening, and they want to give us what we've been asking for. It's a win-win. Long-time fans get their favorite, and newbies get introduced to some iconic characters. So, it's a smart move to keep the audiences buzzing. Furthermore, Marvel Studios seem to be cooking up some big plans for the post-Multiverse Saga era, and a new report hints at a potential blockbuster and Avengers vs. X-Men style movie set in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. According to a source, they've been tossing around the idea for a clash between 616 Avengers and the X-Men. And now, 
Before you get too excited, the report makes it clear that it's still in early days of the concept. They are not ready to spill the bean on any specifics, and it's mentioned that the X-Men would need to find their way into the 616 universe before such an epic showdown could go down. And the Monster Saga is set to wrap up with Avengers Secret Wars in 2027. Marvel seemed to be eyeing some major moves to keep the excitement alive. Fans have also gotten a taste of the X-Men in the MCU, with Hugh Jackman reprising his role as Wolverine in Deadpool 3, set to hit theaters in July of 2024. Marvel hasn't been shy about dropping hints either. We saw Professor X in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and even a Beast cameo in the Marvels. So, whether or not we get this epic Avengers vs. X-Men clash, it is clear that the X-Men are already making their way into the MCU, promising some thrilling crossover and excitement story act for fans. Now here's the big question. Would all these moves help Marvel win back viewers who felt a bit off in Phase 4 and 5? Then, there is Daredevil and Wolverine, familiar faces that we already know. Bringing them in will be awesome, but it's got to make sense in Marvel world that we're used to. So, whether Marvel wins back viewers or not depends on how well they juggle these new ideas, tell a good story, and make it all fit together with what we've already known about Marvel Universe. And the success here is going to come down to how Marvel weaves these new threads into a bigger picture. If they get the balance right, keep things fresh but still Marvel, they are likely going to wig back fans who felt a bit disappointed in the last phases. They've done it before. Let's see if they can do it and keep the magic alive again. And in a quick shift, here's another tidbit from the Marvel Universe. The Marvel Cinematic Universe is buzzing with rumors and speculation surrounding this upcoming project particularly the highly anticipated Avengers 5 and Avengers Secret Wars. Initially, Kang the Conqueror was poised to be the next big villain in the Multiverse Saga, taking over the mantle from Thanos. However, the reception to Kang portrayed by Jonathan Majors was lukewarm and legal issues added uncertainty to his future in the MCU. Now, rumor from the reputable leaker My Time to Shine Hello suggests a twist in the Multiverse narrative. According to these leaks, the iconic character Beyonder is set to take center stage as the main antagonist in Avengers Secret Wars. This revelation is causing waves of excitement amongst fans as Beyonder's involvement in Secret Wars has long been speculated. The twist here is that the studio plans to use Beyonder's introduction as a strategic opportunity to recast Kang. So, the Beyonder is this super strong character causing chaos in Secret Wars. He's the main troublemaker in Secret Wars and Secret Wars 2, where he makes a place called Battle World for heroes and villains to battle it out. And in the comics, is this all-knowing guy hanging out in the Beyonder realm, way beyond the normal multiverse stuff, making him super powerful? Now, Secret Wars 2, Beyonder gets curious about human life. He decides to step down from his powerful spot and hang out with the regular people to understand what they want. But you know how things go. He ends up in a crazy mission to destroy the whole multiverse, running into Earth superheroes along the way. And here is the thing. If Beyonder does show up, it's not just about the character. The actor they choose for this job is going to be a big deal, playing a super important role in finishing up the Multiverse Saga. There's a rumor that Avengers Secret Wars might even be a double feature after Avengers 5 is. The idea of Beyonder being the main bad guy in Avengers Secret Wars and sweeping out Kang the Conqueror with a new actor adds a cool twist to the Marvel movie. People have been guessing about Beyonder showing up for a while, so if it happens, it could bring a fresh vibe to the story. And as a fan, not knowing for sure what's going to happen with Kang and having Beyonder in the mix makes me more excited about Avengers Secret Wars even though there are some bumps in the road for Marvel right now. It looks like they are trying to keep things cool and surprise us with what is next. So, Marvel's got us all pumped up to see how this awesome story plays out on the big screen. And with that said, let's head back right to our giveaways as we're still giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel to one lucky subscriber once we hit a milestone of a thousand subscribers. And all you have to do to win is watch our videos. Subscribe and turn on your post notifications and one subscriber will be chosen from the comment section to win our brand new PlayStation 5. Also, I want to say thank you to everyone who has ever supported us this far. We truly appreciate it. What are your thoughts on this video? And what do you think about the potential Avengers vs. X-Men showdown? How excited are you to see the Beyonder as the next big bad in the MCU? Please, don't forget to like this video and share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss out on any of our latest Marvel news. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.